Hi, it's Luang from Google Tech and today I'm going to show you how to remotely control your Neptune Format 3D printer through Wi-Fi. If you haven't done so and you turn on the printer, you will see that the Wi-Fi icon is deactivated. So to set up the Wi-Fi network, you can go to Settings and then click on WLAN and you can see a list of networks around you. Choose your network and input the password. After clicking on the OK button, it will take the printer a while, like 5-10 seconds, for it to connect it to the network. Like you can see here. After that, if you look on the top, you're going to see your IP address of the 3D printer. Now it's already connected to your network. We can use this IP address to control it using computer or phone, which I'm going to show you uh, right now. And uh, when you go back to the main screen, you can see that uh, the Wi-Fi icon now is activated. Now let's go to computer and I'm going to show you how to control your printer. So here is how it looked on my computer. I added an external camera for you to see, but I didn't connect this camera to the uh, controller yet. That's going to be another uh, video. Um, in this today, I just I just want to show some simple steps for you to understand how did uh, Clipper UI work with the 3D printer. We can do the complicated thing after. So remember, I talked about the uh, IP address that you saw on the top of your controller. So you can just put the IP address right here, and it's gonna warn you about not secure, blah blah blah. But you know that is normal. So now you are connected to your 3D printer. Like you can see here is the tool. You can move it position uh, X, Y, and Z here. So uh, let me show you. I can move like the X 10 millimeter. Let's see here. Yes. Here. Okay, you can choose to move it even more so like you can see it easily you see it wide for 25 millimeter you can see here so this is about the position you can move z also um you can also control the temperatures for example i can put 205 right here and we show you how it started to heat up the uh, 3D printer, the nozzle. Like here. You can choose on retract or extrude also, but um, I didn't have filament connected or input into the machine. So we don't do it for now. I will show you though simple control step first so you understand the uh, the idea of remotely controlling you it's very similar to auto print i used to use auto print with my prusa printer and uh, it's worth fine and it, with that i can have the camera actually connected to it for the time lapse and everything but anyway this is a new 3d printer so it's good to have this option too I will talk about how to connect the webcam directly into the controller in the next video. Anyway, so the temperature reached to uh, 205, so that's true. You can control the position, you control the temperatures. And um, uh, this is interesting, I want to show you also, for example, when you go to tool, you can see that, okay, this is from my very last um, time that I updated the Neptune for Max firmware and then re you remember that video uh, that I, I put the link there for you to see when I after I updated the firmware I need to recalibrate the the machine and uh, what happened is you see the four corners of it kind of higher some of the corner is very high like 1.11 uh, but anyway they show you the, the state of your machine how how bad it is like my I, I need to fix this anyway so uh, let's go back to the home you get the temperatures already like stable around 205 right now i can put it back to zero because i'm not printing anything now so um so that's 
the thing you can start to load the job into it like for example i'm gonna add one of my g code into it you can go here you can choose upload upload and print or add file i can check go with upload um here i have my file ready to do it so it's the it's a logo so i can open it uh it takes some time it took 4.2 mega no take take some time to to load the thing in and process some time apparently in the meanwhile um, we set the temperature back to zero but And it's zero but it say enter yes so it power up and i should be dropped back to zero okay after you put that number you really have to enter for it to work um here it's dropping back anyway we have the job loaded here and uh, if you want to review your g code you can go to here uh, let's say go to preview g code and then it again take them some time to see the G code that we're gonna load in here in this window. Okay, so this is laser zero, laser one. Okay, and we go higher. And let's see this. Okay. Okay. So here, all of the thing. It show you the demo. You can also see your G code in here. Okay. See what I did. I add the G code and whatever moving. I move the thing. So it show what I have done with the printer so far. Like you can see when I move it to like the uh, ten. I move Z ten. Uh, sorry, no. I move the the nozzle. The position of it. It in the show here. So uh, let's back to the main. Here you can also um, add a very those macro for important uh, line for your chain pose. Usually you will pose to like to chain layers or whatever. Resume those kind of important here. They also show you the printer limit and everything. Okay, so that's all I want to show you today that you can remotely control in your 3D printer, the Neptune 4 Max. Um, I didn't want to print anything today. Of course, if you want to print, you can just click on print. If you have the filament loaded, but I don't want to do it today. After you click print, you can also monitor the the temperatures on like, like, like we are sitting next to the controller. Anyway, so I hope it's helpful for you. For the one who haven't set up this function for the Neptune format, like me, uh, you can use it as a starting point. And then uh, let me know if you have any question. I will be very happy to have happy printing.